So you're looking for a really, really big, bulbous, sporty SUV that can also go off-road and also be something very comfortable. Then Audi has got you covered for that. This one right here is one of Audi's biggest cars out there. A car that shares the platform with a Lamborghini Urus. This one right here is the Audi Q8. Today I'm going to share around this car and I'm also going to give it a test drive, so stay tuned. Looking at this car from the front and you will just see how wide this car is. Now this car is actually a bit wider than its 7-seater version, the Audi Q7. And the first thing that you'll notice here, aside from the width, is just how huge and massive this grill is. This is probably one of the biggest grills out there for a car. And just to accent it a little bit, you do get your Quattro badge over there because this is a Quattro after all. LED headlights, and these are all adaptive. In fact, you don't even need fog lights anymore for this car since the headlights can already illuminate the parts where you would need fog lights before. The pattern on it too is really good. Some of this like piano black trim around the grill and also a lot of real vents because this car will need a lot of air. But it's not only the front that'll really get you with the Audi Q8, because once you do go on over to the side of this car, you'll appreciate how humongous this car is. Let's start off with the doors. Just look how big they are, including the rear doors. And there's just so much lines and creases. Just look at how much they open, which is rather wide for an SUV like this. And you even get rainless windows. Plus, you don't even need to slam the doors because you do get soft closed doors on the Q8. Some roof rails up above that is blacked out and this is the S-Line trim. Hence, you do get an S-Line badge over here and really, really big 21 inch rims. You can even get this car with optional 22 inch rims and you can even get this car with optional rear wheel steering. Unfortunately, this particular model right here doesn't get it. Slightly sloping roof line, but despite that, you can see just how high it still is. And for the suspension, this does get air suspension. So if this looks a little bit too high for your taste, you can always lower it with the controls inside. Before we talk about the back in particular, there is this character line on the side of the car, which looks incredibly powerful. And it is just here that runs towards the back. The line only runs up until halfway through the rear doors, which is something that is really interesting because I've never seen that in almost any other car out there. For the back, you press the unlock button on the key and you get a light show as you do have this light bar towards the center. Up above is this really tiny wing with your third brake light on it and I also appreciate how rake this rear windshield is. Now as much as this car looks incredibly well and I'm sure the performance is also pretty good which we shall try out later, Audi I don't get why they did it, but they gave you fake exhaust vents down below. It's not really becoming of a car this pricey and this good looking. But anyway, yes, it really does add to the look. And I must say, it's pretty good. Open up your tailgate and you do have this parcel shelf, which is electrically operated and it does go back on its own. And over here, you have a pretty good boot area. And in fact, it is bigger than the BMW X6 as well, which this car kind of competes against. If this loading area is a little bit too high for you, then there are two buttons here at the back for you to lower your air suspension. This uh, kind of fake metal step sill. And you also have a false floor, which unfortunately does not contain a space saver spare tire. In fact, there is no spare tire in this one, but you do have one of those sealant things and you even have your subwoofer and your mild hybrid battery here at the back as well. Power the Audi Q8 is this really big three liter V6 engine making 335 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. And this one is also made it to a 48 volt mild hybrid system. What really differentiates this Q8 from most of the Audi is that they've done away with going with dual clutch transmissions. Instead, they've used the best automatic transmission out there. This one right here is mated to an 8-speed conventional automatic transmission by ZF. Here inside the Audi Q8, I'm going to check the door thud, but uh, it has soft close, so let's not do it. Let's just let it softly close, and it sounds pretty good. Now, as you can see, I'm already smiling because the seats in this, not only is the leather absolutely premium and very supple feeling, but there is a massage function in this car as well. And I'm currently receiving massage while I am giving you this review. The rest of the interior is absolutely supple as well. So soft touch leather materials up top with stitching too. And even here on the side, you get that leather up top, but some of this suede towards the bottom where your arms will usually hit. I love it. The steering wheel, not only is it power adjustable, but it has that somewhat of of a delayed feel to it. That way, it's a little bit more uh, cushion feeling. It's a little bit more 
premium feeling. It's really those small, tiny details that make this car a lot more premium looking. You have a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, the virtual cockpit that Audi gives you, and it is so nice to see it's so crisp. The screens in this car don't really end with the digital instrument cluster. You have this center screen right here, which is quite responsive, and it is 10.1 inches big for your radio. But for your AC, instead of having your usual AC switches and knobs, Audi gives you another screen, this time 8.6 inches to control all of your AC settings. Relatively easy to use as well. Stop start button for your cameras, a 360 degree view camera on this one, incredibly crisp as well. Then a button for your driver aids. Now there is this drive select button here towards the center as well. And this is where you can actually select your drive mode. You want it off road, you want it in comfort. You can all select it from here and also adjust your air suspension. The air suspension, by the way, can go up and down 90 millimeters or three and a half inches. That's how much this car can really go up or down. And that is just something that makes this car incredibly versatile. Now more piano black, despite that, they look like the type that won't really scratch. So it really does look premium. Even your shifter with this leather padding on it, it's just so nice. Electronic parking brake and even the center armrest, it moves with this mechanism that is just so smooth and elegant. It feels incredibly supple. Up above is also a panoramic sunroof. Now here at the back of the Q8, we check the door again, but we just let it suck itself shut because it can. Now in the Philippines, a lot of people who will buy the Audi Q8, although it is a driver-oriented car, I'm pretty sure that they will enjoy being chauffeured around in the Q8. And so the back seats have to be good. Are they good? They are excellent. Let's start off with the seats. The contours are excellent, both for your thigh support and even the backrest. Then your legroom is absolutely abundant. Even your feet room, you can absolutely stretch out back here. Headroom is good, even for taller people. However, they must not lean over towards the side because they might hit this part of the ceiling. The sill is also moderately high, so kids might not exactly find it to be the best, but for normal adults, this is absolutely fine. You also get your own air vent here by the pillar and also your air vent towards the center. Quad zone climate control, and you can even adjust the fan speed per side. For your toys back here, you do get your own very sturdy feeling armrest with two cup holders over there and these map pockets, which uh, they're like net, so I'm not sure what exactly they can hold, and these have a tendency to sag with old cars, so I just wish Audi put leather over that. Anyway, seating three people in this car, the center seat, I think it's better than the side seats. Headroom is great, the feet, well, they are pretty large, and although the transmission tunnel is rather wide, you can just like put your feet back here. And so I think this is the first car where I'm enjoying the center seat way more than the side seats. That's quite interesting really overall the back seats of this car is perfect for anyone looking for a car to be chauffeured around in as well now we get to drive the audi q8 thing about this car is it does feel very similar to a porsche cayenne after all they are pretty similar vehicles but the thing about this car is that you know that it's tuned for more comfort and leaving the suspension the air suspension of this car into comfort mode and it really does turn into a very relaxed cruiser and i currently even have the massage seats turned on so i can comfortably cruise about the alabang area now this car comes with that three liter engine and what that means is that if you do want to unleash it it can still give you torque on demand without being pushy without being too shovey you get pushed back to your seat but it's not brutal it's not offensive the way that this car just accelerates lets you know that it wants to go on on a very very long journey and it wants to get you there very comfortably while also giving you the confidence to overtake any car on the highway at any time now the Audi Q8 also comes with the 8-speed ZF transmission, which means that unlike its other competitors, it doesn't really suffer from the slight jerky effect that most dual clutch transmissions get. This is probably the smoothest transmission system out there, the ZF, something that you'd often see in BMWs, and I'm very happy that Audi has incorporated it into their car as well. Going back to the engine of this car, put this car into its dynamic mode, and the throttle response does tighten tighten up a little bit there's not a big difference however what really does change is your suspension setup because the car lowers and it significantly decreases your body roll this becomes 
it feels more like a subcompact or compact SUV. Don't get me wrong, despite this car handling pretty decent for its size, it's still no nimble beast. This thing is an absolute behemoth after all. And it's something is just that tells you that uh, you're not really supposed to take very, very fast corners with it, but you can kind of do it but the car won't be the happiest. Despite this being an electronic power assisted steering, there seems to be a little bit of a dead spot in the middle, which is something that I can't understand. And I find it to be a little bit too light, especially if it's in comfort mode. Not to worry though, because the fact that you can make it that light means that you can easily maneuver this giant car even in really, really slow speeds. The only problem is that although you can get this Audi Q8 with rear wheel steering, this particular model right here does not get it. What that means is that your turning radius, if you want to make a U-turn, isn't the best. You're gonna need a lot of road to go for a U-turn in the Audi Q8. If you do wanna park this car though, no problem because despite it being wide, you do have that 360 degree view camera, which is incredibly crisp. NVH in the Audi Q8 is just superb. Here's the thing, a lot of cars with air suspension have a lot of trouble going through speed bumps, especially here in Manila where we have ridiculously high speed bumps. Think the one in BGC, the one outside my museum. Most cars with air or hydraulic suspensions, what happens is that the front part after it goes through the bump, okay, no problem, but then the rear goes over it and it tends to crash. But since in the overhang of the Q8 isn't exactly the longest, it doesn't have that tendency of crashing, which means that you immediately get a soft and supple slide bounce after that rear tire, that rear axle hits those speed bumps. Vibrations wise, you can almost feel nothing because this V6 engine is incredibly smooth. And then for harshness, yeah. Even if you go through really bad roads, the suspension, the air suspension in the Q8 just softens everything in your path. And remember, you do have that mild hybrid system, which means that it gets incredibly quiet, especially when you're below 22 kilometers per hour, because it even has the ability to engage the stop-start system when you are coasting at 22 kilometers per hour or below. You really do feel as if you're in a private jet when you are driving around in the Audi Q8. Now let's talk about pricing of the Audi Q8. A brand new one of these do cost slightly below 9 million pesos. And okay, here's the thing. It is based on a similar platform as the Lamborghini Urus, and it is also rather similar to its seven-seater counterpart, the Audi Q7. The Audi Q7 costing a little bit less than that. Do I think that this car is worth it? Well, personally, I probably wouldn't get an Audi Q8 even if I had the money, but for those looking for a really large SUV that still handles pretty well, that uh, keeps you really insulated and isolated from the outside world, and most importantly, lets you bask in premium interior materials, then the Audi Q8 is that sporty alternative to your usual Range Rover, Lexus LX, or even its seven-seater counterpart, the Audi Q7. 